my friends, I'm Daniel Talley, the Note Self Guy, and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining me today, you're probably wondering, let me check this out. I see a middle-aged man with a shirt that reads, the Note Self Guy. What's his goal? What's his angle? What's the end game? What's this channel all about? Well, simply put, I provide positive, inspiring, entertaining, sometimes funny, and sometimes <laughs> corny content. But they always have a big message, and the goal of this channel is very, very simple. My goal is to give us all food for thought so that we can endeavor to have a better relationship with the Lord. That's the goal of this channel. Today's topic is America and the end times. America, where are you? Let me throw out a few disclaimers. I ain't nobody's preacher. I'm not a pastor. I'm not a Sunday school teacher. I'm not a biblical scholar. Heck, and if you think I know everything there is to know about end time prophecy, then you got another thing coming. Then what are you, mister? And why should we listen to you? I am simply a Christian with an inquiring mind. But before I talk to you about my theory, let me explain to you what I do know. We know from studying Ezekiel 38 and 39 that in the end times, Israel is attacked by the geographical regions that we now know to be Russia, Turkey, and China. But the question then becomes, where is the United States during the tribulation period? Where are we at? Why does the United States not have a prominent role in the end times? I mean, think about it. We're always trying to be the hero in foreign affairs. And considering that we are friends with Israel, I don't understand why we're not involved. I don't understand why we're not mentioned. Come on, man. We're a superpower for crying out loud. Okay, here's my theory. You ready? Listen, mister. You've been doing a lot of talking and you ain't said nothing. Get on with it, sonny. I ain't got all day. Remember, this is just the opinion of the note to self guy. For heaven's sakes, this better be good. I have three reasons behind my theory. Reason number one, is it possible that the United States has somehow lost its status as a superpower and is no longer relevant? Think about it. Economically, we are headed for a train wreck. You know, when my children were small, they would come to me and say, Daddy, 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 why are you so worried about bills? No problem. Just go out to the backyard and plant yourself a money tree and your problems will be solved. Now, you know, I had to giggle a little bit and say, children, I wish that was I wish that was true, but unfortunately there's no such thing as a money tree. But now I look at it now and I see that our government is printing money by the trillions. Looks like your kids were right, doctor. Apparently the Republicans and Democrats both have a nursery of money trees. You owe your children an apology, sir. Seems to me that your kids are smarter than their daddy. Psst. If you're enjoying this episode, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. We in so much debt, it's not even funny. You know, it's kind of hard to be a superpower when your butt is in debt. China owns us, mister, uh -huh. to the tune of over one trillion dollars. If they ever ask for all that money at once, we're in big trouble. No arguing that, old dude. Reason number two, Christianity is the largest religion in the United States. According to Google, 65 to 75 percent of the population follow the Christian faith. And if you run the numbers, that's about 230 to 250 million people. Good heavens, that's a lot of people. But so what? What's your point? As a Christian, I believe in the rapture. But more specifically, I believe that the rapture will occur before the tribulation period. I know, I know. There are people out there who believe that the rapture will occur in the middle of the tribulation period. And yet there are other people out there who believe that the rapture will occur at the end of the tribulation period. However, this is my theory. So hear me out. If the rapture of the church were to happen before the tribulation period, do you realize what that means in America? If 65 to 75% of the population follows the Christian faith, now listen, I'm not saying that all those folks are going to be raptured up, but what I am saying is that I believe that millions of people will be raptured up. That's going to cause a very chaotic situation here on uh, here in the United States. And in fact, it would impact our ability to do anything, including maintaining a strong military. Hmm. Interesting concept, mister. It's kind of hard to be a superpower when you're missing a lot of your people and the place is in chaos. Reason number three. You know, when I was a kid, my dad would often remind me of this scripture. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Galatians chapter six, verse seven. We reap what we sow. And you know, I hate what I'm about to say, and I certainly hope that I am wrong. But in 1945, the United States dropped atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, killing over 200,000 people. Now, I know, I know, I know. Many people would argue that uh, we had reasons for uh, dropping those bombs. But I hate to tell you, we have yet to reap what we have sown. And I believe that someday, 
Someday, somebody's going to drop a nuclear bomb on the United States. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened. Well, I never thought about it that way. You know, mister, at first I thought you had been smoking some of those funny cigarettes. But with all the crackpots out there trying to get their hands on a nuclear weapon, it certainly seems possible, note to self guy. I hope it never happens, but if it does, our status as a superpower would be greatly impacted. There you have it. Now you understand why I believe, and again, this is my personal opinion, why I think that the United States is a non-factor uh, in end time prophecy. But you know what? I would love to hear you all's opinion on this. Uh, certainly, if you think that I'm, you know, crazy or don't know what I'm talking about, please leave a comment. Because again, I would love to uh, to have dialogue, to have conversation with everybody. So leave a comment. But until then, you guys take care of yourselves. Be blessed, and I'll chat with you later.